Two days before the federal election was called, we spent the day with a sitting member for Indi, Independent Cathy McGowan. This is a beautiful Thank house. You. Yeah, and this is a community where I was born and grew up, surrounded by my family and neighbours and people have been here for, you know, since, since white settlement really. So your establishment, Indi? Mm, got the, I've got roots that go down very deep, that's for sure. Hello. Hello. So I'm little sister Ruth. Cathy's sister. sister. And so is Mimi. Oh, no. Hi, Hi Libby. Nice Hi. to meet you. you. My mum and I went farm shopping when I was ready. So we looked around and she found this bit of land and said, I think it's going to work. So she pushed me, pushed oh. me. She um, unveiled the foundation stone and she died really shortly after that. But I just wanted to commemorate her spirit and her push in getting me living here. The morning after the Prime Minister called the election, Sophie Mirabella's family too was in full campaign mode. Morning. Now, our house is a renovation work in progress. Sophie's in the shower. We've got to be a little bit careful. And the kids are at the kitchen table. Please come in. Good morning. Good morning. Hello, I'm Libby. Barbara. Barbara. Mama. Sophie. Hello, Mama. Mama, Sophie's Sophie. Mama. Yep, Sophie's <laughs> Mama. It's an amazing area. I mean, it's got the most beautiful parts of Victoria in it. It does. It does. There was no hardship for me to come here. Can you easily settle in, or is there an establishment? I actually do have family in, in the area, and um, and when some of the locals realised that, it was, uh, you know... Oh, here's a ladyship. Hi, good morning. Day one. Hmm. Are you ready? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> ready or not? Ready or not. The first thing to get ready was the school lunches. She's got more of the Greek savoury taste. What sandwiches did you get at school? They weren't that exotic. I used to get Vegemite sandwiches. His mum worked at the Vegemite factory. <laughs> and while Sophie's mum worked hard to support her family. And my worries because my daughter. <laughs> working, working, working for a bit. Working, working, working. I worked it. I Where did you get that from? Oh, Where did you get that? No idea. McGowan too proffers family as her main driver. I come from a large family, but I'm in the middle. Like, I'm not, I never was the eldest kid. I was always had to work the family up and down, so that's my modus oh. operandi. This morning, Sophie Mirabella is facing a new test. Mirabella's chances of being returned to office amid strong backing for independent Cathy McGowan and a clumsy beginning to Ms Mirabella's campaign. Where did that come from? I'd rather not say. Let others be concerned about internet sign affairs. I'll focus on Indi. Quite frankly, it doesn't really matter what people in Collins Street say. Ah, oh, hello, Peg. Kathy McGowan says she wants to take the power from the parties and give it to the people. Traditionally, the parties say, if you vote for us, we can do this. So what, what I'm saying and what the community absolutely gets is you don't need the Member of Parliament to do it. Sure, you need me to set it up, but it's much, much more powerful if you actually tell the story and explain to government what the consequences of this are. I had, um, had a commitment for a $10 million allocation to the Wangaratta Hospital that if elected, I was going to announce the week after the election. You know that. That is $10 million that Wangaratta hasn't had because Cathy got elected. The question... With this comment, Sophie Mirabella misplayed her hand. I was saying I have a proven track record of getting funding that is difficult to get. Well, it didn't come and out like that, though, did it? No, it didn't. Sophie Mirabella questions how, sitting outside government, independence can get their way. Well, it depends on what their way means. So, do I go in and disrespect people? No. Am I naive about it? Not at all. Am I really clear and focused on what a good outcome is? Yes. Do I do things that I don't think are right in myself? No. Do I, trace, do I stay clear to my own moral values? Absolutely. Yes. While it's all systems go at McGowan HQ, it's not a happy day at Camp Mirabella. Yeah, that's OK. We'll just replace them. It's a bit of an irony considering my family nearly starved because of the German occupation during the Second World War, but nevertheless, let's be positive and go forward. Our second date was here in Wangaratta and within half an hour Sophie had a text message from someone saying, have a look on this particular 
news blog and there was an item uh, describing how Sophie was seen in the supermarket with supposedly her new boyfriend and what kind of jerk must this guy be. And that was my rude introduction to, no, there is no privacy. But also your rude introduction into what people think of Sophie. Well, some people, I mean, that's the left, isn't it? Um, is it? I think so. Mirabella has certainly attracted more than her fair share of invective. How do you cope with being portrayed as a bitch? Do you feel like you are portrayed as a bitch? I think those sorts of labels say more about my detractors and opponents than about me. Well, lately they've been calling her the Queen of Mean, haven't they? I think that's the, the common one. How do you feel about her? How do, I, what, as How a, do you feel about as a Sophie? Wife, I love her dearly. Love her dearly. She is, as a person, I think anyone who knows her well would say, um, whether they don't like her or not, uh, she's incredibly loyal. She's extraordinarily loyal. A strong woman in politics and a strong woman on the conservative side is, um, is not what those who oppose the conservative side of politics want to say, obviously. And the people that don't like Sophie on a personal level that join your campaign? <laughs> yeah. And people, don't, who, people who don't like me, of which there's many, who? Name one. <laughs> so they, yeah, so it, that's how it is. People make emotional decisions about people and that's just the game, isn't it? Cathy um, was the one in the family that didn't have kids, so she had time. But also she has got a deep passion for her nieces and nephews and their friends and for young people. As a community, we've gone her back. As a family, we've gone her back. What's your role with her? Do you to, have an, to love her and nurture her and look after her. It's as simple as that. It's as simple as that. And so the stage is set for the 2016 <laughs> Battle of Indi. I'm passionate about really doing the very best for this area where my children are growing up, where my family is. What if you lose? What will you do? Oh, look, I'll sort it out. I'll, I, I can't tell you because I haven't had that discussion with my dear husband yet. <laughs> um, well, it's have... got to be on the horizon. We've got to have a plan um, B. We'll, we'll talk about that later. You've committed your life to community, no children. Yeah. Is that? Is I, that... I wouldn't say I've committed my life to community. I've co I don't think I've committed my no? life. No. No, that's too big a thing. No, I haven't committed my life. What are you doing? Lending it? I'm living, I'm living it. You're living it? Yeah, I'm being.